What's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, we are here with Megan from Gal vs. Glue Gun. Candy and Jen are in the background, so is Damon. Yes. All right, I want to start slicing this up because we're going to be working on this candlestick. We're using this candlestick. It came from at home. And then we're also using this. Is it? Uh, this is a sizzle bunny. And we're using him, and he has a cute little umbrella. But we're just gonna kind of shave the corners down on this so it ain't so spiky. And this is just gonna go right on top of here, right on top of our candlestick. Oh, you're yeah, getting a glue pot? Ginger wants this. Yeah, I'll take that too. Okay, so we glued the um, foam down. No, that's this. one of my favorites. 61639. If you haven't snagged any, you need to get some. So pretty. So many different textures on it. So many different leaves. What? Why are you cracking <laughs> I'm just going to pull some bits apart to use some of these all over. All of these are wired. Even these ferns are wired. They're so pretty. No, that's one of my favorite. That's... This is gorgeous. Yeah. We're going to go right up in the middle up at the tippy top. No. <laughs> okay, so we started out, made a little tall. He's definitely gonna go on here, right here. <laughs> Do you have any U pins? Or I can use stubs, I guess. Okay, I might need your muscles for that. <laughs> There's your U pin. I might need your muscles. Or no, he might have some. I don't know if U pins might will go through that. I'll have to try. Yeah, Okay, I'm going to Oh, that was sweet. What's, What's happening? happening? She said, my name is Monty. Please don't mistake me for me, Margie. <laughs> no. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. Sometimes people don't always like everybody, and that's okay. Just keep on going. So, of course, if you wanted to, you could use gaps and cracks to get the time. No, we don't have time for gaps and cracks. <laughs> I like this. I like to stick this in all different angles to look like wild hair. Like when you wake up in the morning, I just like it look a little wild. All right, let's see if we can shove this right up in and to put them down in there. We're just gonna take this nub. Watch your face. Our, our oh Jordan. My goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Can you hold this, please. Sorry. You're gonna hold it while she glues it. Well, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, I'm gonna glue gonna it. I just had funny. to get this a little ready. Just gotta get a little ready. Got it. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance. You had the number on that pick. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one that glued oh, herself to it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh because my laugh is so loud. That's okay. I just went through his little foot. The greenery on that. Candlesticks is 61639. And it's at decoexchange.com, y'all. Mm. The finial, who knows where that came from? That uh, at home store. This candlestick. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. store. It has a sticker on the bottom. Is this a boxwood? Like oh, a cedar box? I think it's a boxwood. It's so so pretty. I, the one she's using right now is PF1673. That's in stock at decoexchange.com right now. That's another one of my favorites, y'all. This is Karen, if you can't hear her, you need to go out and come back in. We're gonna go right through this space right here. If it wasn't for you pins, they're gone. Oh my word. They're what? Gone? Yeah, they came by one day and never brought back. They were in a red bucket. We're just using this as filler. I really like this. It looks like the green leaves are almost like a spackle, so it's bringing in like a lighter green and a darker green. This is good filler. Yep. All right. Here he is so far. I still have some pieces of this we'll probably use. I am going to go in. I love this. I love that stem too. I just don't like the little sea urchin on it. This little thing, I think I'm gonna use him. I like it with the umbrella a lot. Yeah, and it's got pink cute. and yellow on it. I'm down. But I'm gonna use some of these throughout it. I'm gonna sprinkle it around to bring in those pretty Easter 
colors. Yep, Lorna, I would have used lots of whole stems. They're going to look so cute. And I'm going to definitely try to use this sea urchin. Oh, those are some good colors, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Nope. I've been using scissors. Oh no, we didn't give her the scissors. We gave her the knife, y'all, <laughs> to cut the foam. I'm just going to face him over here. I want that pink. I love that little pink sitting right up in the front. So cute. So cute. And we're going to do these in a triangle kind of around him. So I get a lot of pink spread out throughout it so I don't have all my pink in one spot. Let's go on the other side. Make sure we get enough so your eye goes through all of it. <laughs> we'll go in with this. Add a little bit more pink up front. I'm gonna put some of this. This is for Michaels. Yeah that one's for a Michaels. silver dollar eucalyptus i do love a flat leaf it's probably one of my favorite to use so i'm gonna go in with some of that beth we don't call it hoarding we call it creative collecting we don't hoard that's really really pretty i love it in all the different colors i know it's gorgeous it's really pretty just, uh, I think it has all those textures like it, we always talk about instead of having to buy like four or five different stems like that has so many different textures for your design all in one stem which is amazing. I'm pulling some of these greens down to kind of trail it down a little bit. You watching? Mm -hmm. I'm watching you. You like it? Is he growing pretty good? Nice and flirty. Proud of you, JoJo, for not up spending nothing. <laughs> she's flirty because your dad is awesome. I love all these greens. We're going to bring some of that yellow up in the front. We got some in the back. Once I'm done, I'm going to go here and watch the Who? Oh, on your page? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's not during the fall. Oh, no. I brought the trolls in. Oh, you're welcome to Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to add some of this. This is really cute. This is available. It looks like little hearts. This is a pusher too, y'all. And it's a light She's light. a pusher too. She's pushing on my buttons. <laughs> yeah. This is a gyp gypso. Gypso candle ring. Yeah. We, I'm going to use this in pieces. We don't have U pins though, right? Uh -uh. Usually I would take this and U pin it and work it around into the frame. I mean, into the um, uh, foam, but we don't have U pins. So I think I'm going to break it up a little bit and just kind of sprinkle it through. But usually I would just fan it out, open it up. So I would, you wouldn't want to start like in front of him. Like to you the side. You want to start off to the, the side of him. Yeah, this is this. a big hole here. Kind of... Hold on, let me pull some of these up. This is what I wonder they what their employee say. discount is. How pretty this, using this little garland. Let's see. I'm going to spread some of these greens, though, so we don't lose any of it. Because they, since they were in that ring and in that package, they were smushed. And we want to be able to see them all. So now we have all these little foam speckled eggs. And we're just going to pick them. And we're going to stick them. Uh, George, I think Jordan just zoomed in with me. Somebody said, why do you call those little nubs? Because they're just nubs off of the stems, the stems, I guess. I'm going to stick these in. I'm almost done, y'all. These eggs are just giving it the extra little sprinkle on top of everything. We're just going in, and I'm using just the eggs that had the same color of the florals that I used. And I'm just trying to put them in on like 
some a little higher and some a little lower, closer down. Everything was amazing. Thank you guys for hanging out with us.